Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 27th of 2022. Well, it is titled Sunset Moonset Taj Mahal. So what do we see here? Well, we see off towards the right side of the image, the dome of the Taj Mahal. And up above in the sky, we see an object there, actually two objects together. And that is actually the sun and the moon setting at about the same time. So they're getting closer and closer to the horizon. And at the same time, the sun and moon are nearly perfectly aligned in a partial solar eclipse. A partial solar eclipse occurs when the moon blocks out a portion of the sun, but not the entirety of the sun. So in this case, we can see the moon there to the upper right side of the sun. That is the limb of the moon. And of course, the the, the side of the moon facing us is not being illuminated by the sun. So it's completely dark. And it makes it appear as though a part of the sun has disappeared and the sun appears as a crescent. Now, this would then continue until the moon moved further away from the sun and as the two begin to set. Now eclipses like this occur uh, uh, on, a, on a yearly basis generally. And in fact, this is the second solar eclipse that occurred this year, uh, both of which were partial solar eclipses. The next eclipse coming will be a lunar eclipse. Now a, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and sun and blocks out the sun's light. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. The moon will pass into Earth's shadow. And that means the moon will no longer be directly illuminated by the sun and will appear dark and then will appear a very deep blood red when it is in the deepest part of its eclipse. And that is because of light sneaking through Earth's atmosphere. So while the moon has no atmosphere here and fully blocks out the sun, the Earth's atmosphere allows some of the light to sneak into its shadow, not giving us complete darkness in a lunar eclipse. Now, if you're hoping to see this lunar eclipse, it's primarily going to be visible over the Pacific Ocean. So the best place to view it would probably be in the middle, middle of the Pacific Ocean, someplace like Hawaii. Although it'll actually be visible from the eastern parts of Asia and western parts of North America as well. So places like much of Siberia and Japan will see it as well as western parts of the United States and Canada. If you're a little further away from those, whether to the west or to the east, you'll get to see only a portion of the eclipse. Uh, in this case, much of Europe and Africa will get to see none of the eclipse because it will occur during the day when the moon is therefore at full moon below the horizon and not visible. So there is a chance to see if you happen to be located in uh, places uh, like the western part of North America, actually down in New Zealand or Hawaii, a chance to be able to see a total solar eclipse coming up. I'm sorry, that's a total lunar eclipse coming up in just a couple of weeks. So that was our picture of the day for October 27th of 2022. It was titled Sunset Moonset Taj Mahal. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Comet's Return. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.